Oh, hello, and thank you for joining me. I'm Timbo Took, and this is A Joy of Painting Middle Earth, a time when we come together to paint the most fantastic landscapes Middle Earth has to offer, and maybe we'll paint a scary one a time or two. So if you're ready, grab your paints and your brushes, and let's go on an adventure. All right, here we go. Let's get right to our painting. So we've got our canvas and we have it prepared. How do we prepare it? We've put down a thin coat of magic white. Oh, you know, magic white that Bob Ross the Blue taught us how to paint with. That's right, the Blue Wizard. He used to come to the Shire once a week when I was just a boy, and he'd teach us all how to paint. And this is his wet on wet technique that he taught us to paint with. So we've got our colors here. Phthalo blue, alizarin crimson, sap green, burnt umber, ivory black, uh, cadmium lemon, that's what it is today. And then we have some titanium white, of course. And we're going to be in Minas Tirith, so it's very white there. And I put a couple of piles there just in case we make one all polluted. So we'll come up and we're just going to start with the corners. We've got some phthalo blue on our brush. And there's some magic white down on the canvas, and you'll see it just mixed together as we come in. There we go. Just bring that down. If you have to, steady your canvas, or steady your easel, rather, with a big old hobbit foot. That's right. Just put it on. There we go. Come up. Get some more, come to this other corner. Start in the corners, and then we'll just work our way towards the middle. There we go. And we've got that magic white down, and it's mixing together with that. And again, it doesn't look like I put a very thick coat of that magic white on there, but that's okay, because we're not gonna have a lot of sky on here today right in the center. We're going to have the citadel of Minas Tirith there. That's right. And what are we painting? Oh, we're painting the white tree of Gondor. That's right. Sitting right out in the courtyard there on the seventh level of Minas Tirith. There we go. There we go. Just mix that in. Just bring it down. We're not going to have a whole lot of sky in this picture. That's just there in the background. There we go. Now let's clean off our brush. We're using a two inch brush and we're just going to come to our odorless paint thinner. We dip it in there and then we bring it to our rubbish bin. That's right. And we just beat the Sauron out of it. <laughs> beat the Sauron out of it. That's my favorite part. Just clean off your brush. There we go, there we go. Now we're gonna come back. We're gonna come back to a clean, dry, another clean, dry two inch brush, and we're gonna put a few clouds in, just a few. So we're just gonna take the corner of the brush there, just load it up with some titanium white, another two inch brush, and we just bring it in. And you can see you don't have your blue mixed all the way down. It's not one flat color. You can see where the clouds would be, so you'll just stick them in. That's right, just blend those right in, blend them right in. There we go. There we go. Just knock off some of that color if you pick some up. Come back and grab some more of your titanium white. And we're going to have a big mountain in the center, so don't worry about that too much. And we'll mix it in over here. There we go. Knock some of that off so you're coming back and you're not putting more blue into your white. You're getting white onto your brush. That's right. And we just circle that in. There we are. There we are. And just work the bottom of the, those clouds just just roll them into your painting. Just move it about just like that. There we go. Just leave that top edge nice and bright and white. There we are. Knock some of that color off. Come back. 
and we'll pick up a little more. I just flipped it over and I used the other corner because I was picking up a little bit of blue there. There we go. Put that in. Just roll that together. There we are. Clean off that brush. Now we come back and we've got a nice clean brush. And what we're going to do is we're just going to lift our clouds. Just lift them up, just lightly and gently. Just lift them there. There we go. Knock off some of that and come back. And we just pull those clouds. Just be the breeze. Just gently mix those together. All right. Now we've just got that for our background. We're just going to leave that like that and let's get to our... Oh, we want to put a mountain that's back there. That's right. And we painted Minas Tirith last week, looking at it from a long ways off. That's right, my grandpappy Took first went there with oh, Gandalf, that's right. Now I've got some ivory black and I'm just putting some burnt umber in there. We're just getting a dark color to put as our, our rock, our mountain. Just pull it down flat once you mix that together. And we're just going to come up here. And this... We're just pulling in. Just pull this down. And our citadel will sit right in front of this mountain. There we go. This mountain just goes right off the canvas. And just scrape that in. Come back and get some more. And we just make that that side come down there. And he just runs off this way. There we go. Bring it on this side. There we are. And you know, maybe there's some mountains off in the distance. Oh, these mountains go back this way, so we'll just put put some there. Pull those out down into the painting there. We'll do a little bit of highlighting. Oh, say this guy comes off this way. And right off the canvas it goes. And we'll catch that with a brush. That's right. Just scrape that paint down right under your canvas. Just really push it in. There we go. Maybe that cliff comes up. Right there. There we are. Now just set that palette knife off to the side. And what we'll do with our dry brush, we're just going to pull this this mountain right down into our painting. That's right, you'll see. We just pull this down. Pull that right down into the painting. There we go. Ah, 
And that's okay in the center, that it's not super dark, because that's where Citadel is going to be. There we go. Bring it this way and that. Pull it right in front. Give your mountain some shape. You want to mix it together enough so you don't see that blue back there. Although this was, I believe, a, called a blue mountain. There we go. Once we have that pulled out, just clean off that brush. Now what we want to do, we want to grab some of that white there and just come and mix it into our black. We want a gray stony color. You see that there? There we go. Mix that up. Just pull it right out on the palette so you can see it. Grab a little bit of that and just come up here and we'll just just slide your knife right down that mountain. Just grabbing, grabbing some of that paint. Let the paint break off and give your mountain some shape. Give it some color where it's catching. There we go. These ones that are in the back, there's not a lot of detail there. You just, just highlight the one side, then you can come to the other. And... Mix up some more if you need. Might need a little more titanium weight in there. Just to lighten that up a bit. There we go. Get that nice stone gray. Stone gray. There we go. And just give that mountain some shape. Some rock. There you go. Just bring it down. And remember, we're going to have stuff right in front of there. Oops, I knocked that a bit. Just bring it down. Making those stones. There we go. Grab a little bit and highlight this rock face over here. There we are. Now what we want to do is let's get a little bit of our blue. Let's make a shadow color. There we go. Now you got that a little blue on there. That'll be the cold side. That'll be the cold side right there. Just bring it right down the side there. There we go. Get a little bit more blue in there. We have quite a bit of blue on our palette. 
So let's get a good shadow color. There we go. There we go. And you can put some shadows in here. Just where the sun isn't hitting. That'll give us a good contrast in there. And maybe just bring it down right here. Just using some of that up. Just highlighting that over there. Now what we have is we have our citadel that's here. And that's mostly white. But what we want to do is we want to give it a dark background that it can sit against. So we will come here and we'll make this tower. There we go. This tower comes right up this way. Now we're getting an awful lot of paint on there. So why don't we scrape out where that tower is going to be? Just pull the paint off, just so you're not going over some thick paint. There we go. And we didn't put that much down so we don't have to scrape that much off. There we are. Come back. And this just comes up this way. That's right. Now my grandpappy Took would tell me the stories of old Minas Tirith. That's right, my grandpappy Took, he went there with Mr. Gandalf during their adventure. Oh, he rode with the wizard there. There we go. On the eve of the war, that's right. Just pull that down. We may have to go and get some more ivory black. There we go. Now, of course, this is a, a structure. We want to try and match that on that side. All right, it's taken shape. I know it doesn't look like much you're saying. Oh, Timbo, what are you doing there? What are you doing? You don't know what you're doing. I don't. I really don't. But I just try. I try. I love these stories. And if we can bring these stories to life with our paintings, that's what we'll do. That is what we shall do. And it goes back this way. Marches back. There we go. Oh, it's starting to look like something. Starting to look like something there. Excuse me if I stand right in front of you. I don't mean to do that.
Sometimes if I don't stand in front of you though, I tilt my head to the side and all oh, these structures, they come out so crooked. That's okay if we're painting a tree, which we will here in a little bit. But when we're painting these structures, you have to say, oh, they need to be a little bit even. A little bit, not too much. Oh, sure, there might be some people who are very critical and they say, oh, your buildings are a mess. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that doesn't bother us. We know what we're doing, kind of. We don't. <laughs> oh, that's right. Just bring this down. There we go. There we go. We just put that on there. Now we're going to clean off this knife. Just wipe that off on a paper towel. That's right. Now we're going to come in and we're just going to give some bricks on this. So what we do, we're just going to come. Now that's pretty pure white. So let's Let's work this into kind of a, a whitish gray. That might be a little too dark for Ministereth. There we go. It's still a nice white. And we come and we'll come over this way. There we are. And what you're going to do is you're going to pick up some of that dark color. So just wipe that off and come back and pick that up. And we're going to take this from this gray color and then we'll come back and we'll do the white. We'll highlight the other side with more of a pure white. This is more of the shadow side. There we go. Bring that, wipe that off. Pull out some of our white there. Now it is pure white. Normally we don't like to go in with just titanium white, but when we're going on the dark color, it'll mix in with it. You'll see, you'll see. So we come here and we pull it across. There we go. So this side has more of the, the bright white. Just wipe that off on your palette. We'll be able to use it again. And then just come back this way, this way. There we go. There we are. Now, let's take a little bit of that, that white we're coming back with. Let's put it up here and let's make a little bit of a brownish, a light brown color. There we go. Mix that up, mix that up. These are going to be maybe a little darker. This is going to be the gates to the citadel. Come across, and these will have these doors right here. Just bring it up. And I know we're using, it's hard to make, it's hard to make decent shapes with a palette knife, but that's okay. We're just having fun. That's right, we're just having fun. 
So we bring these doors right across this way. And if you pick up some of that dark color underneath, don't worry too much. Don't worry, just... There we are. And it's kind of an arched doorway. But we just want to bring this down and make... Just make it look like wooden doors. There we go. Now what we want to do, now we want to get it. Just get our dark, our dark brown, and let's just put a line right down the center there. There we are. And of course, we'll make it a little paneled. There we go. Maybe we need to come a little dark right in here. There we are. So now we have a gate on the Citadel. And it might be a little crooked. I didn't draw it out. I didn't sketch it out first. We're just having fun, that's right. Now let's put some bricks around those doors. Just, let's make an archway here. There we go. And do the same on the other side. And you could get a smaller palette knife, I suppose. And I hope I'm not in your way too much. There we are. Now let's give that... It's known as the White Tower. Oh, the White Citadel. Let's, let's make it look like it should be known for that. And let's come down. There we go. Just add that white onto the walls. And it's hard when you're picking up so much of that dark paint underneath. But, you see, it looks nice, it looks nice. Just bring that down. Just take that, when you pick up the black, just wipe it off. Come back and pick up some of that white. That's right. Ministereth the White City. Make these towers here. There we are. This one over here. There we go. Uh, 
And remember, this painting is mostly about the white tree of Gondor. We haven't even talked about it that much. We've spent so much time doing this. And there's not a lot of color there. We'll come and we'll put some green down in this courtyard too. Just to make it look a little more like our paintings usually do. There we go. Just bring these walls down. Just let that paint break right off the knife. There you go. So you don't end up with a flat wall with nothing happening. That's right. There we go. Now let's let's put in some bricks. We'll make these. There we go. Just come through and put some lines. Just so you know, it was made by man. These things were put here. And you don't want to spend all day doing this. But maybe it takes some time just to... There we go. You see that? And just by putting those little lines in there, it just looks like it was made by the hands of a craftsman. Maybe not the best craftsman with my painting, but oh, you know. There we are. There we've got the citadel. Now I think well, we would have some stairs that came out here. Right to the courtyard. There we go. What we're doing, we're just putting this line in here and we'll come back and we'll highlight these steps. Come back to our white then. And you just put the top there. Now our palette's a bit of a mess, so you just grab whatever color you can. And these are all details that you can come back to. You can come back and you can put in other details when you want later on. But for now, let's put some grass in there because it was a courtyard. It was a courtyard. So we want to start We just want to put a dark color down that our grass can go right on top of. Put that shadow in there. All right, wash off that brush. All right, let's come 
to our sap green. Let's put it down here, mix in a little bit of that cadmium lemon. Just tap that onto the brush there. Just tap that on. This is just going to be the courtyard. There we go. And there were some cement paths and things through there. You can add all of those if you want. Let's just tap in some grass real fast. Now, you might say, oh, Timbo, that looks like an overgrown mess. Even when my grandpappy Took arrived, he was amazed and never had he seen such splendor. But the truth of the matter was, the city was in quite decay at that time. That's right, so maybe it wasn't so trimmed and maybe it didn't look so prim and proper like we like to, to remember in, the, in our minds when we picture the story. That's right. It was in decay, the city it was. Oh, they had been... They had been at war for a long time defending that their lands. Now, why don't we get to to the business that we're here for? That's right. We are here for the white tree. We're just going to take a fan brush, make sure it's nice and clean. And we're coming up to this tree trunk. It's a white tree, but we want to lay down the shadow that'll be underneath. There we go. There we go. Out in the courtyard, there was the white tree, but at this time, like the city itself, and many things that were broken down, and this tree, this tree was... That's right, it was dead. It was a dead tree and they promised not to replant it. They promised not to replant it until the return of the king. Now we know that day wasn't far off for them. But they didn't know it back then. No, they didn't. We're just going to come in. This tree was old and gnarled and twisted. It was out in the courtyard. It wasn't a thing of beauty at that time. No, it wasn't. Maybe go a little darker even. Oh, there we go. No, this tree was not quite a thing of beauty. We can just bring that out. Oh, maybe add some roots there. Maybe let's make them a little wider. There we go. We'll highlight it with the white once we lay the shadow down. Once we lay that darker undertone, we'll come and highlight the white on there. There we go. And these trees. Oh, a seal door had planted the original tree there. Actually, planted the original tree in Minas Ithil. Oh, Minasithio, what was that? What was that, you say? Oh, you might know it by a different name. Minas Morgul. That's right. Oh, where the witch king of Angmar ruled. Oh, such a bad place. Oh, let's bring this branch right here, right there. Oh... There we go. We'll take the branch this way. And let's make him a little wider. There we go. Just using that fan brush. Just using that fan brush and make this tree come out. Maybe, maybe its arm reached all the way out there and you can see it. Can see it there. But it was a dead tree, that's for sure. That's for sure. Even though the white tree of Gondor was the sigil of the city, and the knights wore it all on their breast. Oh 
they were looking for the restoration of that city. That's right, maybe. Maybe this big old twisted gnarly branch just comes right down in front of the door there. And another one here. And we just bring that down right into the grass there. He had those big roots. That's why he could last so long though. Even though he was dead and didn't put out fruit, for a long time he lasted. A long time. Bring this one up. There we go. And maybe we'll even go. What we're going to do is we're going to get our script liner brush and just using a lot of that paint thinner. We roll that out real thin, just like ink. And we can bring some branches in here on him. There we go. Just bring some down, there we go. Go back and get some more of that, oil, that paint thinner if you have to. Bring it on. And there we are. There we go. Now it's called the White Tree of Gondor for a reason. And that reason is because it's white. But I don't have any more white on my palette. So we just get some more titanium white. And we'll just come to our palette knife again. We'll highlight this tree with a palette knife. See how that does. You don't have to. If this doesn't work out for me, don't you do it too. Don't you do it too. All right, just think of where it would be. Where it would be on here. There we go. Kind of a twisted, gnarly tree. And we'll just come right down here, right there, highlight that out. Now having a white tree with a white background, that's not the smartest thing to do, but I didn't decide what color it all would be. This tree had been through a lot. There we are. Just take that palette knife and just pull it round that tree.
There we go. And you just highlight that. Maybe it comes. Maybe it's twisted that way. There we go. There is our white tree. Maybe grab that smaller edge of the palette knife and highlight some of these branches here. That's what we can do. There we go. Now I probably should have made that a little more gray back there. Those bricks, that makes it a little harder to see. Right back here. Maybe I'll just do that. So it stands out a little more, I guess. If you do it, maybe you make that more gray where your tree is going to be. I should have practiced a little more before I came and did that. But that's what we do, that's what we do. All right, let's take this, get a little of our, of our grassy color here and just come up along these roots. Just make them part to the grass. There it is. They just sink right in to get their drink. There we go. And there we have the white tree of Gondor. Maybe, maybe we have some blue left here. Maybe we just come here. There's a fountain. There's a fountain right here. Let's just put some water in. Just take our blue, just There we go. Just pull that out. There we are. Now let's give some bricks right around that little pond, fountain, whatever it is. And we'll just go right here. Just outline it. And I'm just grabbing any old color I got here. Just mixing whatever together we still have left on the palette. And just come to that small edge of the knife if you have to for these smaller parts here, the smaller corner. There we are. There we go. And we can even Give that a little edge there. Of 
Just grabbing some of that whitish color you have left on your palette. And we're just coming. Putting a top right on that. There we go. Now, and let's just put maybe just an idea of a reflection in that water. That's all we have to do. There we are. And maybe there was a path that came right up this way to it. Just grabbing some of that dark color. As I said, it's an easy excuse. Oh, the Professor Tolkien, he gave me an easy excuse by saying the city was in, oh, was in a bit of decay. That makes it so I don't have to make things perfect, and neither do you. But what does matter is that you have fun painting, painting this, and you make it part of your story. That's right. Well, I thank you for coming on this adventure with me, and I hope you enjoyed today's painting. We'll have another fun one for you next week. But for now, happy painting. Goodbye, and God bless.